Hello, my loves. I wanted to go ahead and pre-record some of our Roller Girl reading, uh, just so that we can get ahead with it and really enjoy it together. So, when we left off, we were seeing a flashback in Chapter 2 about how Astrid and Nicole met. So let's dive into Chapter 3. <clears throat> but back to now and roller skating. Nicole did want to come, just like I said she would. I'm going to be like the Tiger Woods of roller skating. Well, I'll be the Michelle Kwan, which is even better because she's actually a skater. Michelle Kwan was in the Olympics. She was incredible. Remember, Nicole's mom will pick you up at 11 and she'll take you home after Nicole's ballet class. Call if you need anything, stick together. Okay, bye mom. Hey, there's Adam and Keith. I could barely wait to start skating. My mom gave me 20 bucks. Maybe we can go to the snack bar later. Uh-huh. Maybe Rainbow Bite would be practicing here today. Maybe roller derby teams made exceptions for very talented young skaters. Maybe Astrid's thinking she could join them as a young, young skater. Whoa, look at her go. She's so fast. Backward too. What? It took me months to learn that trick. Flip. That does it. We have to have her on our team. Come on. Coming. I guess she was dreaming here, or maybe daydreaming a little bit. It's hard to skate on this carpet. This was it. I was one step away from realizing my destiny. Step. Funk. Right on her butt. How do you stand up? You just sort of bend your knees and push to the side. I am bending my knees. Y'all, she's not bending her knees. Nicole skated next to me while I clung to the wall. That's it, you're looking better. Look, this must be boring for you. Why don't you skate around some? Well, okay. I watched as she skated faster and faster. How did she know how to do this? I watched as she skated over to Adam Bishop. Oof. Please don't hang onto the wall like that. You're in my little boy's way. You need to be more careful. There are lots of little kids here. No kidding. I made it to the exit eventually. Don't ask me how. In fact, I made it all the way to a bathroom stall where I plan to spend the next hour. Story of my life. I bet she says that because that's where she met Nicole. Hello? I got you a present from the skate shop. Rainbow socks, just like the ones Rainbow Bite was wearing. Nicole stayed with me while I washed my face. I dried my eyes with my new socks. They were soft and cool on my face. That's the kind of best friend Nicole is. I mean, was. Uh-oh. How was skating? Fun. Okay. Do I have any change left? N oh, I uh, spent it at the snack bar. Well, Nicole and her mom argued. Remember, it was $20. She spent it all at the snack bar? Come on. While Nicole and her mom argued, I sat thinking in the back seat. Nicole, do you think everyone's going to be really good at skate camp? Skate camp? What's this now? You didn't tell her, did you? I, um, it's a roller derby boot camp. You get to skate and roller derby. I'm surprised your mother would let you do that. Seriously, roller derby? You're not exactly what I'd call a big bruiser type. Well, actually, Nicole and I, Mom, I just remembered. I have to give Miss Kendall a check today for my costume. I sat in silence the rest of the way to Nicole's ballet studio. Ugh, there's Rachel. I can't believe we have to go to junior high with her next year. Junior high is middle school. Nicole, Mrs. B, hi. Rachel transferred to a new elementary school in third grade. Best day of my life. She's not as bad as she used to be. You should give her another chance. Ha. Hey, Rachel. Rachel, honey, how good to see you. Oh, hi, Astrid. What are you doing here? Snort. Nicole, aren't you so excited about dance camp? Um, well, dance camp? Uh-oh, tension in friend town. Six weeks starting next month. We finally get to go on point. 
Point is when I know what point is. I've been, I know what point is. I've only been best friends with Nicole my entire life. Okay. Ooh, they've got some cranky feelings in there. Rachel, have you seen our new costumes yet? Maybe I'm psychic, but as Nicole and Rachel got farther and farther away from me in that parking lot, I had a very bad feeling that this summer wasn't going to go the way I planned. Now that was chapter three. I hope you really enjoyed it. One thing that I noticed was the shape of the speech bubbles versus these boxes. What do you think that difference represents? Let's look at some examples. This is all speech bubbles, except for this one box when she says about something that happened in the past. What do you think that could mean? We'll pick up later with chapter four.